Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on Mendelian Genetics and this is the part 6 of the series of videos on Mendelian Genetics. So the first question of this video that is consider the terms maternal inheritance and maternal effect and choose the correct statement below. So option, options are that is option A is there is no difference between the terms option B that is maternal effect is the genetic information carried by the mRNAs deposited in the egg or option C maternal inheritance is the genetic information carried by the mRNAs deposited in the egg or option D that is chloroplast only provide the genetic information that constitutes the maternal inheritance. So the right answer is option B that is maternal effect is the genetic information carried by the mRNAs deposited in the egg. So this is the correct one about the maternal inheritance. Okay. So let's move on to question number 102 that is Assume the two pairs of genes with two alleles each that is capital A small a and capital B small b determine the plant plant's height additively in a population. So the homozygote capital A capital A capital B capital B is 50 centimeter high and small a small small a small a small b small b is 30 centimeter. So, what is the height of the F1 of a cross between them? So, option A is 50 centimeter, option B is 40 centimeter, option C is 30 centimeter or option D is 80 centimeter. So, the right one is option B that is 40 centimeter in F1 cross. That is the height of the tree in F1 cross. Okay. So, let's move on to Question number 103 that is choose the wrong statement. So which one is the wrong statement? So the first statement is QTLs that is quantitative trait loci control polygenic trait statement Q is RFLP is used as marker in QTL mapping and statement R is QTLs control a quantitative trait and S is QTLs are always present in single chromosome. So option A is P and Q, option B Q and R, option C P and S and option D only S. So the right answer is option D that is only S. So QTLs are always present in single chromosome. This is the wrong statement. Okay. So let's move on to question number 104. That is peptide mutants in yeast stands for slow growing and small colony forming yeast cells. So genetic crosses between different haploid yeast strains show that the peptide mutations do not segregate with any known chromosome. The defect could be in the option A nucleus, option B mitochondria option C Golgi body, option D endoplasmic reticulum. So the right one is option B that is mitochondria. So peptide mutants in yeast stand for slow growing and small colony forming yeast cells. So genetic crosses between different haploid yeast strain show that the peptide mutations do not segregate with any known chromosome. The defect could be in the mitochondria. Okay. So let's move on to question number 105 that is the cross between a mutant female mouse and a normal male mouse gives rise to a offspring that are all mutant. The reciprocal cross gives rise to offspring that are all normal. So this means that the mutation is likely to be option A in the mitochondrial genome option B in the nuclear genome, option C that is dominant, option D that is recessive. So the right one is option A that is in the mitochondrial genome. So the cross between a mutant female mouse and a normal male mouse give rise to a offspring that are mutant. 
so the reciprocal cross give rise to offspring that are all normal so this means that the mutation is likely to be in the mitochondrial genome okay so let's move on to question number 106 that is synthetic seeds are produced by option a encapsulating somatic embryos option b encapsulating zygotic embryos in artificial nutrient jelly or option c encapsulating genetically engineered embryos or option d transplanting zygotic embryos of one plant in the endosperm of a related plant and the right answer is option a that is encapsulating somatic embryos okay so synthetic seeds are produced by encapsulating somatic embryos okay so let's move on to question number 107 that is if two loci are 10 map units apart assuming that no multiple crossover has taken place so what pro proportion of the cells undergoing meiosis will contain a single crossover in the region between these two loci so options are option a 10% option b 20% option c 30% option d 40% so the right answer is option a that is 10% so if two loci are 10 map unit apart assuming that no multiple crossover has taken place what proportion of the cells undergoing meiosis will contain a single crossover in region between these two loci that is 10% okay so let's move on to question number 108 so which one of the following statements correctly defines the term recessive epistasis and the options are option a is a situation in which one allele does not allow its alternative form to express option b a situation in which a gene pair in homozygous recessive condition may mask the effect of one or both the members of the another gene pair or option c that is a situation in which the dominant allele of one gene pair masks the effect of both members of another gene pair option d a situation in which the dominant allele of the first gene pair masks the effect of both the members of the second gene pair and the dominant allele of the second gene pair mask the effect of both the members of the first gene pair so this is the all options so the right answer is option b that is this one is the right one so which one of the following statement correctly define the term recessive epistasis that is a situation in which a gene pair in homozygous recessive condition mask the effect of one or both the members of another gene pair okay so that is known as recessive epistasis okay so let's move on to question number 109 in pseudo allelism genes are option a are functionally allelic and structurally non allelic option b that is in pseudo allelisms genes are structurally as well as functionally allelic option c they are structurally allelic and functionally non allelic or option d that is they are structurally as well as functionally non allelic so the right answer about the pseudo allelism is option d that is these genes are structurally as well as functionally non allelic in pseudo allelism okay so next is question number 110 so if a cross is made between two plants of capital a small a capital b small b small c small c capital d small d and capital a small a small b small b capital c capital c capital d capital d genotype then what will be the expected frequency of obtaining a progeny with capital a capital a capital B small b capital C small c capital D small d and the options are option a 1 by 128 option b 1 by 64 option c 1 by 32 option d 1 by 16 so the right answer is option d that is 1 by 16 so after this 
crossing uh, over of these two genotypes, the, what will be the expected frequency of obtaining a progeny? That is this one, that is 1 by 16. Okay, so let's move on to question number 111. So if only two segregating loci contribute to cob length and we represent the parental cross as capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B, 9 in average cob length into small a, small a, small b, small b, that is 3 in average, the fraction of F2 expected to be 4.5 in is option A 1 by 8, option B 1 by 4, option C 1 by 16, option D 3 by 16. So the right answer is option B that is 1 by 4 is the fraction of the F2 expected to be 4.5 inches. Okay, so uh, so this is the <coughs> parental cross where capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B that is 9 inches average cob length and small a, small a, small b, small b that is 3 inches average cob length. So after uh, crossing the fraction of the F2 expected to be 4.5 that is a percentage that is proportion is 1.1 by 4. Okay, that is the chances. Okay, so let's move on to question number 1, 1, 2 that is in a cross involving polygenic inheritance only 2 by 125 of the offspring in F2 were as extreme as one of the one of the parents. So how many gene pairs are involved? So option A is 3, option B 1, option C 4, option D 2. So the right answer is option A that is 3. Okay. So let's move on to question number 113. It is the garden P that is Pisum sativum has 14 chromosomes in each of its body cells. So the number of linkage groups expected in the species is option A that is less than 7, option B 7, option C between 7 and 14 and option D that is 14. So the right one is option B that is 7. Okay. So the garden P has 14 chromosome in each of its body cells. So the number of linkage group expected in this species is 7. So let's move on to question number 114. That is a certain kind of snail can have a right handed direction of snail sorry uh, shell uh, coiling that is capital D or left handed coiling that is small d. So if direction of coiling is due to a protein deposited by the mother in the egg cytoplasm then a capital D small d capital D and small d egg producing snail and a small d small d sperm producing snail will have offspring of which genotype and phenotype and the options are option a half of the progeny is capital D small d is to half is small d small d and all right coiling or option b all are capital d small d and all right coiling or option c half is capital d small d is to half is small d small d and half right and half left coiling and option d that is all are capital d small d and all left coiling so the right answer is option a that is half is capital D small d is to half is small d small d and all are right coiling okay so let's move on to question number 115 it is in melandrium album absence of which segment of y chromosome leads to development of female plant so options are option a suppressor region option b promoter region option c fertility region option B pairing region. So the right answer is option B that is promoter region. So in melandrium album absence of which segment that is promoter region of Y chromosome leads to development of female plants. So let's move on to question number 116 that is gamma garden is used for growing 
plant platelets produced by tissue culture that is option a option b eradicating pathogens from infecting plants option c that is growing genetically engineered plants on trial basis or option d that is mutation breeding for crop improvement so what is known as gamma, gamma garden is used for option d that is mutation breeding for crop improvement okay so let's move on to question number 117 it is in heterozygotic reciprocal translocation a segment from one chromosome become attached to a non-homologous chromosome such chromosomal aberration can be detected cytologically in the meiotic prophase 1 in the form of option a uh, quadrivalent forming a cross option b bivalent forming a loop option c linear quadrivalent twice as thick as a bivalent or option d quadrivalent with one pair of homologous shorter than the other so the right answer is option c that is linear quadrivalent twice as thick as bivalent okay so let's move on to the question number 118 that is the statement even in the absence of a balance between the primary evolutionary agent two or more alleles can be maintained together in the same panmictic population for indefinite periods of time refers to option a polymorphism option b heterosis option c balanced polymorphism or option d geographic polymorphism so the right answer is option a that is polymorphism okay so the statement even in the absence of a balance between the primary evolutionary agent two or more alleles can be maintained together in the same panmictic population for indefinite periods of time refers to polymorphism okay so let's move on to question number 119 multiple alleles are present at option a different loci on the same chromosome option b same locus on different chromosome option c different loci on different chromosome or option d same locus on homologous chromosome so the right one is option d that is same locus on homologous chromosome so multiple alleles are present at same locus on homologous chromosomes these are multiple alleles so the last question of this video that is which fusigenic agent below is required for kybrid production and the options are option a polyvinyl uh, uh, pyrolidine that is pvp or diethylene glycol succinate or option c that is polyethylene glycol or option d that is dimethyl sulfoxide so the right answer is option c that is polyethylene glycol so which fusigenic agent below is required for kybrid production that is polyethylene glycol okay so these are all 20 questions of this part 6 video of mendelian genetics okay so thank you for watching this video